motors sort of got dragged into the electric car uh, thing by a group of visionaries uh, back in 1989, sort of renegades who worked around the bureaucracy to create the impact prototype out of the Air Environment uh, Sunracer program, delivering this prototype, working prototype for $3 million. Of course, if they had done it inside the bureaucracy, it would probably have cost hundreds of millions of dollars. Uh, so General Motors spent the next uh, few years fighting against the zero emission vehicle mandate, which uh, would force them to make the impact. And they, you know, they joined the oil companies, Western States Petroleum, in doing so. The Japanese uh, sort of got dragged into this. You know, they, they find American politics puzzling, I'm sure, but they were required to do the zero emission vehicle mandate, and they actually took it serious not understanding that General Motors had absolutely no intention of actually making an electric car if it could possibly stop it, uh, since General Motors seems to operate as an arm of Standard Oil and always has. Uh, the uh, Japanese looked at the, at the, the idea with fresh eyes. Now, they, instead of putting the batteries above the uh, car, the, uh, the, the floor line, they put the batteries in a, in a pan below here. So the, the batteries operating at 288 volts are actually outside the passenger compartment and actually form a, a low center of gravity for the car, making it very difficult to turn over and giving it great stability. Now they, they used uh, an existing body and they didn't you know, bother recreating a new one because uh, this is the cheapest way to do things. They used the 1996 through 1999 RAV4EV body. So by 2003, uh, 2002, what, two, November when they actually sold these things, it would be actually impossible for them to continue making them because the RAV4 EV had gone, the RAV4 itself had gone through two design changes by then. So they pretty much, you know, were going to run out of bodies, either that or they had to do a redesign. And when they did this, you know, the, they had some, to do something with the space where the engine and all that other stuff used to go. Uh, so they, they put in this big old box, which is mostly empty space, and all this other junk for, uh, you know, air conditioning and, and fuse boxes and stuff just to fill the space. Now what should be in here, of course, is a fast charger, which uh, we, don't, we don't have there now. We have to actually add it on. So it's, it's here, and this fast charger operates up to 12 kilowatts, and this little red wire goes to the front of the car and through the uh, a race way down there, and then into this uh, power electronics unit where it actually uh, goes right into regenerative braking. So essentially, you know, we could hook up a gas engine generator to that um, fast charger in the back, and when the batteries are depleted, just run the car off the generator and you know leave the batteries depleted so they can use um, regenerative braking. Some people have done this, and AC Propulsion, which is the the geniuses who created the zero, the impact in the first place, they have made several versions of plug-in serial hybrids using what they call the Long Ranger, which puts the engine generator on a trailer in the back and it actually you know plugs into the car in the back and then um, uh, it just powers the car with the generator after the batteries are exhausted uh, but we can't get these batteries anymore the EV95s now Air Resources Board is meeting in Diamond Bar it usually meets in Sacramento we've taken this car to Sacramento but we're not going to do that much anymore because we're sort of in a race with General Motors General Motors we think is hoping that by 2015 all these round 4 EVs will be gone and they can just ignore the fact that there was an electric car that has over 100 miles range and drives like a normal car so that by you know 2012 or 2010 or whenever they whenever they can get away with it they're going to say oh well we just can't do the Volt because we can't have the batteries by then they hope these cars will all be gone and since we can't get the batteries since General Motors sold control of the batteries to Chevron Standard Oil in October 10, 2000 um, they're hoping that you know eventually these cars will, will disappear from the public view and they can proceed with the fiction that you know you need lithium to actually make a plug-in serial hybrid work. Whereas you don't. This is in effect a plug-in serial hybrid and all it would take and which I probably will do is add a little gas generator. Still, we're not going to drive these cars long distance because we want them to last long enough to at least have a chance of proving GM as the big liar that it is.